Good afternoon everyone. My name is Ruturaj and today I am going to talk to you about the second concept of the day of the subject called CPM which is nothing but construction planning and management. In the previous session what you saw was uh, what are the what are the types of networks or what are the elements of the networks and the various principles of the network. Today we are going to look also what we saw was the project and the construction project. Further to the project we saw project management. So now today we are going to see what exactly the management is. How does it start or how was management evolved? Who are the thinkers or who were the thinkers who proposed the theory of management? And in today's modern world, what are the types of management that we take it from the previous studies? Alright, so let's look at this particular topic. We have said yesterday that the CPM, construction project, uh, construction planning and management is divided into these eight modules out of which yesterday we touched upon the network theory and today we are going to look into management why because eventually the management is the only tool which is going to help you to manage the brick construction projects or the complex construction projects so there is the whole purpose that the project and management is individually explained it to us so as I said Management is a process very similar to the project, but it has got evolved. So if there is anything that we need to learn, the best part is to look into the history of it. As we said, the predecessor. So today we are going to look at few principles or some thinkers who have put across this theory and how are they applicable to us in the today's world. The management word was inspired from a Latin word called mantis. Then a terminology of manus was looked at which is very similar to manus in Marathi. Manus was the driver who used to control the team of horses pulling the cart. As you know the previous ages were different than today's ages. The delegation or the workload was given as per the particular activity that they were doing. So, when a group task or a group activity was required, there was always a delegated person who would perform like a leader and perform that activity. So, Manus was the person or the uh, Manus was the terminology called for the person who used to lead the group of horses. From there, Mantis Manus, the today's word management has derived. So, if we want to define our own simplified definition, Let's look at this word and break it into three parts. So meaning it is manage, men and T that remains out. So the easiest way which I have always learned was to manage men and T was tactfully. So if you are managing your men with the tactics means certain tools, certain practice, what you are actually doing is nothing but a management. Clear? Are you clear with this? Is the, is the video clear? Is the audio clear? Whatever your comment is, please write in the section. Right. So, I, as I said, there were certain thinkers who have actually contributed to the concept of management. These are the images of those thinkers in which Mr. Fayol who is also popularly called Henry Fayol and F. W. Taylor have contributed to the scientific management and the principles of management which are directly applied to our nature of business. There are also other thinkers who have also looked into the theories like time and motion study, hierarchy study, theory X, theory Y but that is not directly related to our discussion today. So we will look at only the contribution of Mr. Fayol and F. W. Taylor. Okay. Guys, why are we looking into this subject first of all? Please understand. Your competitive examinations are a combination of technical subjects and non-technical subjects. However, when you are going to get deployed on your respective positions, may it be into PWD, WRD, uh, any of the municipal councils or any of municipal corporations or any other examination where you are going to perform your role, you will be required to behave like a project manager. That's why this managerial subject has been introduced in your technical syllabus. That's why you look at this subject as a techno-managerial skill. This is a very skill-based project uh, subject. 
So knowing the tools and techniques and knowing the evolution of it is very important. That's why we are looking at it. So as I was saying, there are various thinkers who have put across the various theory. F. W. Taylor proposed scientific management and Henry Fayol proposed the principles of management. These are the techniques and theories that we have to look ahead. So these thinkers also put across various definitions. As they were going to propose the theory, the definition was the first thing that they proposed. Henry Fayol said that to forecast and plan, to organize, to command, to coordinate and control is called management. Means forecast, organizing, planning, for everything, to do it in advance is uh, management. Mary Parker said, it is getting the things done by others. What we said was men, men, this is nothing but management or manage, sorry. Drucker says the systematic organization of economic resources. Okay, man, men is also a resource. So he said we have to do it in an economical way, not that you are wasting the resources. Mason said that management is a process of planning, organizing, leading, controlling, and efficient efforts of the organization to achieve the organization goals. So he's, he stayed one more step ahead. Earlier we said just manage, then we, stop, we talked about the resources. Now we are talking about the um, uh, organization and its goal. So if you want to simplify this, the, the, mess, the best definition that we said was manage men tactfully. This will cover everything. So now how to imply it, how to use it in which type of industry is the key for the management process. So scientific project management was proposed by Mr. Frederick Winslow Taylor and he is also called as the father of scientific management. And why is he called that? Let's have a look. Mr. Winslow was a mechanical engineer in America and he used to work into the industries where he thought the lot of work was happening but the efficient way was not getting implemented. So he thought there would be another way where he can make the improvements into the industrial or the industrial working and hence the processes can be improved. The processes can actually become more efficient. So to make the approach for the efficiency driven pattern, he put up certain scientific principles and hence scientific management came into picture. By the way, this guy was also the first appointed consultant on any of the project. So that's why he is called as the father of scientific management. In the scientific management, what he derived was the network techniques, sensitivity analysis, dynamic programming and graphical methods. So he just he said that management is just not a process or just not the concept or a theory. It can actually be taken down to the left, the shop floor by applying or making it easy to do. That's why all the scientific techniques were put across. The next were Mr. Henry Fayol who proposed us the principles of management. So there is a very striking difference. The first gentleman said it was all related to the science and it is all scientifically driven process. Whereas this man says the principles of management are important. Why so? He says for any particular business or any particular operations to uh, perform, there are various types of activities in your business. For example, you do technical activities, commercial activities, financial activity, security activity, accounting activity and managerial activities. So all this will circle around the managerial activities only. So for you to have efficient managerial activities, he says there are principles which management team has to follow. Management team has to follow and those principles are listed on the screen like you, have to, you should be authorized and you should have a responsibility, you should think about the equity, you should implement the discipline in your organization, you should centralize the power, you should divide the work, you should have a subordinate interest, your subordination of individual interest of the group in the group interest. There should be an initiative, Every, everybody in the organization should take initiative, for that the management also has to take initiative. There should be a remuneration given to the people who are working in the organization. There should be a teamwork. There should be unity in the command. Means the top box is saying something else. The subordinate is saying something else. There is a there should not be the situation like this. So there should be unity in the command. There should be a scalar chain of operations. 
there should be unity in the direction there should be stability in your decision your stability in your organization and the word used is esprit de corps esprit de corps means the mutual pride if the organization has achieved something the boss should also be happy the team should also will should take pride yes we are the contributor to this cause like this the principles are if they are followed by the management team the chances of your organization getting better and efficient are very high so guys that's why these two theories which are now directly related to our daily lives are scientific management and principles of management so there was a pyq or there had been two pyqs on this topics let's have a look at it the pyq for mes pre 2012 asked the question among who among the following who is considered as a father of scientific management father of scientific management so you should be able to answer the question max weber henry feuer taylor or elton mayo whatever your is your answer please write it in the comments all right so likewise there was an another question in mes mains 2017 where they rewrote the same phrase among the following who is considered as the father of principles of management or okay and very scientific management again the options were given robert owen elton mayo f w taylor and henry feuer you should be knowing this answer by now because we have just seen the slide and you should be able to answer this please write it in the comments for the ease of understanding let me give you this answer the answer the scientific management father of scientific management management is mr taylor and principles of management is mr henry feuer are we right let's let's have a look to the previous slide f w taylor scientific management henry feuer principles of management so what have we ticked here scientific management taylor principles of management henry feuer so guys this was the overall brief of management a very short brief of management that is included in our syllabus hence this was a concept of the day the concept of the day series is normally very short but i preferred to give you a very quick idea about what this particular topic was these two types of simple questions can give you either two marks or can deduct your two marks from your examination so just just be informed whenever there are Uh, the questions with the statement saying we choose the correct statement choose the incorrect statement then the theory is always the content and the theory is the only thing which will make you choose the correct answer of that question so that's why the theory topics like these are also important in your curriculum so with this we will stop today's session guys do not forget that we are in the current journey of junior level exam junior engineering exams lot of examinations you have appeared so far and the exams those are in the pipeline currently and we know that they will surely happen is pmc followed by other municipal corporations and the wcd which is going to be you for which you already read fill the forms so guys all the best for your examination we have started the pmc batch at all of our three locations in pune nashik and nagpur and we have started it online and re recorded or i mean online and offline most of the sessions you will also get into the recorded format so please do not forget to subscribe our channel please don't forget to join our telegram channel don't forget to share this information with your friends and peers and continue your journey to your success my name is ruduraj i am signing off today and will come with another topic tomorrow thank you so much thank you bye